Welcome to MCSC TV. Now guys, tomorrow night at 8 o'clock, we take on West Ham at home in the Premier League. Now guys, first things first, I am so nervous for tomorrow night's game. I am honestly so anxious. Um, West Ham are a really good side. Obviously, they're sitting ninth in the table at the moment. We're sitting eighth. They are literally just a place below us. They're doing well this season. But also, we always struggle against West Ham. It's always a difficult game, isn't it? And our recent results against them prove that. But not only that, we are also on the back of two Premier League losses recently. Obviously, we lost against West Wolves, we lost against Everton. So, are we going to be going into this game very confident? Because I believe the last two games will have really knocked our confidence. Um, not only that, I do feel like tiredness is affecting the players at the moment. Um, I mean, obviously, we've been playing, well, a lot of games recently. <laughs> so the players are going to be tired. It is going to have an effect on their performances. Um, and yeah, and I, I feel like that is becoming very clear at the moment. Um, this this season is so unpredictable as well. Every single game is so unpredictable. Not just with Chelsea, just all the teams in the Premier League. It's an unpredictable season. Nothing's guaranteed. Last season, for example, I was using phrases such as, on paper we should be winning this game. I was feeling confident. But at the moment, you just can't predict what's going to happen in any game. I mean, don't get me wrong, football is always unpredictable and you can get some really shocking results. But this season, more than ever, you just don't know what's going to happen, you know? Um, but yeah, as I said, Wolves are doing well this season and we all struggle against them. So we are going to tomorrow night, nothing's changed. Um, and we really need the three points. I mean, if we're wanting to challenge the top four, you can't go and lose games consecutively. I mean, I know maybe teams around us are helping us with the results they're getting, etc. But we need to focus on ourselves and we need to be getting three points from as many games as possible and losing against Everton, losing against Wolves. We can't lose against West Ham tomorrow night. If we do, it really might be a massive decline from there. Um, once you get a run and the confidence knocked, it gets difficult. You just need to try and pick yourself back up and try and get at least a draw or a win. Um, Tomorrow night, obviously, we need the three points. The pressure is on that, us now because of our last couple of games. But normally in a season, I would maybe take a point from this game. But this season, we can't do that because of our recent results, as I said, and the pressure on us at the moment. Um, but yeah, we are unpredictable at the moment. You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow night. I even struggle to do a score prediction anymore. Um, but yeah, as I said, the pressure is on because of our recent results. Um, and we just simply haven't been good enough. That's the reality. Um, other teams have outplayed us. And that's just the way it's been, you know. I mean, against Wolves the other night, first half wasn't too bad. Second half, Wolves just outplayed us completely and then they got a last minute goal and we were punished and you've got to it's about the 90 minutes you know and we we just didn't manage it against Wolves there was a small improvement upon the Everton game but yeah I I do feel like if we lose tomorrow it's going to be very disheartening especially for us fans as well you know um, and also will the last two losses we've had motivate us or will it have really knocked our confidence? It's really, I, I really don't, can't predict which way it's going to go, you know? Um, and there's two things I just want to talk about quickly. Um, tiredness, yeah. There's lots of games at the moment and it is starting to show in the players' performances, I believe. Against Wolves the other night, first half, we came out, we were fast, we were quick. Second half, you could just see the tiredness was getting to us. We're playing that many games and I do feel for the boys, you know. Um, but also, I just want to talk about one player in particular, Kai Havart. Um, now, obviously, he did have the coronavirus and he hasn't been the same since he returned. Before he had the virus and when he was playing, I felt like he was really good and he was improving game upon game. But so many fans are getting on his back at the moment. And I appreciate that he's got to perform, he's in the starting 11, etc, etc. But no fans have actually taken into consideration much that the vi you can tell the virus has affected him. Because since he had, has had it, his football hasn't been the same than in comparison to before he had it. So I do feel like fans need to actually remember that. Kai Havart's had the virus, like, and I know 
fans can't say, oh, so is that all right then for him not to perform? Because every player needs to be up to scratch that's on that field and they need to be performing. But I just want fans to take that into consideration, you know, you've got to give him time. And... Um, He's, he's got to get back up to pace again. And the only way he's going to is be by playing football on the field with the team. So, yeah, you've just got to give him time. And I know it's frustrating because he's in the start 11 and fans would say if he's not fitting up to it, he shouldn't be out there. But that's my opinion. Some fans might say I'm talking rubbish, but I do believe the virus has affected him. Um, and I do feel like it is showing his in his performances but that's what I think anyways guys my score prediction for tomorrow night is 1-1 I hate to say it but I do feel like we are going to draw tomorrow night obviously I would love us to get the three points um but yeah I do think I do think it will be draw guys let me know down below all your pre-match thoughts your score predictions and your predicted team lineup let me know how are you feeling for the game in all honesty I'm not feeling confident at all and I'm not expecting a lot and um, so I guess if you go into a game fit not expecting a lot from it um, it can only improve from there can't it really um but yeah, guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate, appre sorry, I can't hardly speak. I appreciate all the support at the moment. I have obviously returned to my channel. So thank you um, for the support on my return. So guys, don't forget to tune into my channel straight after the game tomorrow. I'll be bringing you my match review and hopefully I'm talking about us getting three points. That would be amazing if we won the game tomorrow night. It would really helpfully lift us Chelsea fans um, and especially when our form hasn't been great at the moment. It would be really good, really good to get the ball rolling again, get three points and try and climb our way up the Premier League, you know. Um, and yeah, come new blues, let's get all three points and let's do it for Stephen. Thanks. Thanks. Hey guys, I'm with Stephen. What's your pre match for? A bit disappointed that Hazard is out, not even on the bench. But hopefully, we can prove that we're not just a one man team. Uh, yeah, definitely. Hopefully, we can get a, maybe a 2 1 win or 3 1 win. Be nice. Yeah. Are you feeling confident for the game? Um, not, yeah, as, not as much as I was if Hazard was in the team, but oh, fair enough, fair maybe, maybe we should win today, we could, could win, you know? Yeah, I'm feeling confident because obviously Man City won them 5 0 last weekend, so I am feeling quite confident. And um, yeah, thank you so much for coming on up the town. So, guys, I'm with Stephen on the concourse. What's your pre match thoughts and score predictions for today's game, Stephen? Well, I'm hoping we can win and we can finish third above Tottenham. And um, hopefully we're, we're going to win the Yogi League against Arsenal as well. What's your score prediction for today's game? 2-0 uh, to Chelsea. Yeah. Do you 